I speak unto thee this day, and I say, Be glad, be glad, be glad, for what it is that I do for thee. For I say, It is me, the living God, who does uplift. It is me, the living God, who does bring forth. I say, Be glad. For I say, You are meant to be glad in me. You are meant to be hoping in me. You are meant to be guided by me. For I say, It is me, the living God, who will cause the people who serve me with gladness to rejoice always. Now I say this day when you look upon the mercy, the truth, and the light that I give you, I say be guided forth by me. And I say be directed, corrected, instructed, and given the life wherein you are kept each day. And I say be glad to be able to serve me, be glad to be able to be guided in me. For I say it is me the living God who is the life source, it is me the living God who is indeed the mercy intended for my own. And I say that I desire that you would serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. Now I say, this day you are living in times when multitudes who are found under the plague of despair. That is, they live in depression, they live in hopeless despair day after day. And I say, they are there because they are not serving me. But instead, they are serving their idols, they are serving dumb and dead gods, and I say, there is no hope to be stirred within them. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do not find pleasure with those who serve idols, nor do I bless their lives. And I say they may chase the wind, they may bow to their dumb idols and think they gain from it all. But I say they will end in despair, they will end in depression under the plague. And I say it is because they do not bow unto me. Now I say this day that I the living God am giving the call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent. That is, to turn from the wickedness, the idolatry, the abomination of their own way and to walk uprightly in me. And I say, when men will hear the call to repentance, revolution will humble themselves and obey, then they are guided forth in my way. And yes, they are given the strength, the truth, the blessedness, the mercy of who I am. Now I say, this day let it be me that you will look upon, let it be me that you will follow after and seek to please. For I say, if you will be coming forth in that which I give you, then you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given the strength and the mercy, the truth, the light, and the peace of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give the very best to the ones who are faithful unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would know my goodness, my mercy, my truth, and my life when they obey me. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly resist me, refuse to obey me, nor come forth in my way, what do they know? I say, they will know my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed upon them. For I say, it is the time that I have declared war upon men. And I say, it is me, the living God, who has launched the war. I say that I'm bringing <coughs> dire calamity, necessity, tribulation, and sorrow to multitudes throughout this earth. And I say that I'm hammering them, I'm devastating them, I'm wrenching them. And I say, there are still multitudes who have not clicked at all. That is, it has not come into their minds that I am sorely displeased with their sin, with their misbehavior and their conduct, which is far from me. Now I say this day, be glad to be able to keep serving, to keep loving, to keep walking in obedience unto me. For I say, if you consider in the days of old when I, the living God, did call men and women to declare my truth to the ends of the earth, I say they went forth simply looking to me. That is, they went forth in obedience, they went forth in submission, and I say they went forth facing a hideous world. And I say that they did not turn back, they did not run away, they did not go into self-pity, and likewise be defeated by the same. But I say they trooped on and suffered, they trooped on and endured, and they trooped on and obeyed what I declared. And I say that the truth of it is that my truth was spread throughout this earth. Now I say this day you are living in times when those who think that they are my people are living in deceit. That is, they think that to serve me means they get everything that they demand for their carnality, and that is the way that it is. But I say that is absurdity, it is not my true gospel, it is not my true way. But I say it is a conjecture, it is imitation, emulation, it is the fruit of Babylon's Jesus. Now I say this day, if you are true in mine, I say that you will continue to endure, you will continue to obey and be identified with my way. That is, you will not look for the couch of comfort, you will not look for the bed of compromise, but I say that you will troop onward in me. And I say that you will be thankful to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. And I say that you will be made glad for the purpose that I've set before thee, that you can indeed be enduring, coming forth, and bearing much fruit in me. 
Now I say this day that I don't have God and will please with a people who will endure hardness as good soldiers because it is me that they love. That is, when you consider the way that those of the times of old were taken by the leading of my spirit, I say you have nothing to complain about. For I say it is me, the living God, who will lead and guide you as it pleases me, that you can indeed bear the fruit that I desire in my own. And I say you are not meant to build according to your own pride, but I say you are meant to be co-laborers with me. That means that it is me, the living God, who is the master, and it is me that you obey. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to intend you to thank me and praise me for whatsoever it is that I take you through. For I say that I do not leave you in the midst of the mire, but I say that I take you on. And I say that I cause you to be ever strengthened, directed, and guided by me. And I say that I call you to be coming forth renewed in the power of my spirit each and every day. Now I say this day, be glad for the privilege that I've given unto thee. Be glad for the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And I say, be glad that I purpose thee, that you can indeed be strengthened each and every day by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who desires that my people would be ever quickened by truth and guided forth in the same. For I say that each man, each woman has their areas of stubbornness and pride and defiance against me, but I, the living God, desire to reveal those enemy strongholds and bring them down. Therefore I say this day be thankful when I give unto you the truth and the light, when I give unto you the mercy and the strength, when I give unto you the way wherein you can be guided by me. For I say you are not meant to be as some fools have become, flinging yourself into the arms of sin, the arms of the enemy, all to your own destruction. But I say you are meant to keep yourselves unspotted from the world, and walking in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing the cycle of new life unto the midst of thee. I say be thankful unto me. For I say indeed when I bring forth those whom I have intended to be subject to the teachings that I provide, I say be thankful, be thankful, be thankful unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who does indeed bring the cycle of my life, that men will rejoice in the power of the same. And I say in the times that you are in, you will find there are those when they are awakened unto me, when they are quickened in my spirit. I say they will be so desperately eager to follow me. I say they will run along the road. That is, they will not drag the lip, they will not reluctantly wallow in the dirt, but I say they will come forth ever rejoicing in me. And I say it is because they will know the joy of true deliverance from sin. I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, to walk in the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace of who I am. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who will bring you forth, that you can indeed be kept each day by me. Now consider, if you learn to cooperate fully, if you learn to walk in my truth and my life, then you are indeed guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who will come forth in me. That is, the ones who will be thankful to be guided, directed, and corrected in my way. Now I say this day, be glad to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me, and be brought forth, renewed in me. And I say, be thankful for the life, the truth, and the abundance of goodness that I give to thee every single day. I say, be thankful that I am the one who will purpose, uplift, direct, and bring you forth. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who guides you each and every day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to be acquainted with the sorrow, the desperate sorrow that befalls the ones who turn back on me. For I say, while a man may be wise in his own conceit, I say that he will end in gnawing despair. For I say, when any man or woman turns from me to embrace the world, I say they embrace the futility of the same. And I say they embrace desolation of soul, and I say that their end shall indeed be bitter, lonely and desolate, filled with despair. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be bound under the plague of depression or accepting the cup of the same. But I say that you can indeed be found rejoicing, ever uplifted in me, serving with gladness day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give unto thee the life, the truth, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth, guided, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I do purpose, that I do direct, that I do instruct in my way. 
And I say be thankful that you can keep believing and trusting, hoping and being guided forth by me. For it is me, the living God, who is righteousness revealed. It is me, the living God, who is mercy and truth and hope provided. And it is me, the living God, who will bring you forth in that which I give day by day. I say this day, be glad to believe me, be glad to receive of me, and be brought forth renewed each day by me. For I am the one who gives you the life and the truth, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. And I say likewise, be glad that it is me, the living God, who is bringing my war upon the stubborn, the proud, the defiant, the ones who worship idols, the ones who worship themselves, the ones who refuse to bend the knee. For I say it is me, the living God, who will continue to hammer, to devastate, to bring to ruination all of those who are wise in their own conceit. For I say that I'm thoroughly sickened by the stench of the sin that men commit upon this earth. And I say that I will not be stilled in my anger till men are repentant unto me. I say thank me and praise me for the privilege to live in repentance revolution, for the privilege to declare the call to the saints. And thank me and praise me that it is me, the living God, who will give you the power to overcome those high things within yourself that seek to exalt against the knowledge of me. That you can indeed bring down the proud fool, bring down the proud image, and walk in the humility way that I provide. That is the way that is truth and light, mercy, strength, and life intended. I say thank me and praise me, thank me and praise me that for me you are guided, directed, corrected, and given the truth always. That you can indeed be shown that I am the one true God who is life and mercy, hope and truth and peace provided. That you can indeed be thankful that in me you are given all that you need. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, truth, mercy, light, and the hope intended for those who are faithful unto me. I say thank me and praise me, thank me and praise me that you are guided, that you are directed, that you are instructed by me in the way of truth and light, mercy, hope, and peace day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the I am God, the one who guides you in life. And I say be thankful to serve, to love, to obey me in the way of my truth, my life, my mercy intended always. in a circle till they all die off and then he'll take another generation in and if God puts forth a call and a cry in a generation and the church refuses him because she desires to wallow with Sodom then God will go on and find the ones in the highways and the byways and God will go out and get the whores and God will get the thieves and God will get the liars and God will convert them and raise up a holy people unto himself. Nothing is impossible with God. I said nothing is impossible with God, and when God desires, God shall bring forth. And it's exciting to know that we can be a part of God's spirit people, that we can dwell in the realm of spirit. Because you know what? We are purchased. And we're not purchased to stay in carnality and be greedily clutching about what can we gain of this world's good. And how can we appear in the eyes of men? And how can we appear in the eyes of women? And how can we put on a better show than Joe down the street? That's all vanity, that's vexation, that's carnality. And God is calling the people that will be willing to sing higher. He was a years. Let him hear.